Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have Lost Remnant the End Tides, which is a point and click crafting uh, Cthulhu game, which aka is a trifecta of lost, confused, and driven into madness by it. Um, hopefully this video will help you if you get stuck or if you just want to watch the whole game to see how it goes. Because usually Cthulhu video games are pretty interesting even though they always have like a super bleak ending. But, uh, oh, it's going to be hard because I suck at crafting games. I've gotten better at point and clicks. And Cthulhu games are usually confusing as hell. So we're going to do the best we can. Oh, there goes the music. I was like, where's the music at? It's your first day in the cabin on the shore. You've left your old life behind in hopes that being a fisher will bring about a comfortable living. Grandfather's last letter to you is in the journal on the desk. I should click the desk. Boom. Oh wow, there's a bunch of letters. Great out letters. I guess I unlock letters as I go. Grandchild, I wish I could have expressed you the things I've learned while I was still alive. But I fear that I too but I fear that too have done so would shred the last bits of sanity that I have left. That gr <laughs> that sentence almost shredded the last sanity I have left. I am too old to act on what I know, but I hope that you with the vigor of the youth We'll be able to escape the fate that I fear is to befall Vincove and surely the lands beyond. There are things I cannot speak of even now, for surely the rumors of my warning, waning sanity still circulate throughout the town. Even after my passing, I urge you to seek out what you can, to discover and to learn. I have bequeathed to you the means to do so. If you have the will to pursue this course, that choice is yours. I cannot make it for you. I leave to you all the property I have left, my cabin on the shore west of Vincove, as well as my last remaining possessions in a crate by the door that I hope will be of use to you. Seek, discover, learn. So from what I know, learning things in Cthulhu games is really bad, so my grandfather's probably a dick. That is so mad now that he's messed me up. I'm trying to get me screwed. This must be the crate left by your grandfather. You open it with minimal effort. But then you find a fishing rod, small knife, bait box, 15 coins. Oh, we're banging now. We're rich. You convert the crate itself into 12 wood. You also find various formulas and blueprints for crafting at the table for your grandfather's... At the table and for your grandfather's forge. Old forge outside. Reading is hard. You can right-click or press escape to look at your items or coins. What's this thing? You've collected a roach. They make excellent, make for excellent bait when, when fishing. But as your foot presses on a nearby floorboard, the rotten floorboard gives way. It takes a few seconds to get your foot free. Upon inspecting the floor, you can clearly, this music's going way too hard, Bill. For me anyways, I gotta turn it out on my end. It takes a few seconds to get your foot free. Upon inspecting the floor, you can clearly see something under the floor, gleaming in the light. You reach through the hole in the floor and pull out a glass bottle with a message inside. Haha, I've got you now. Get screwed, son. It is with sadness that I must secret away these messages. I knew your parents only wanted to work for a better world, for themselves and for you. I loved them dearly, but their goals were folly. I did not know it then, but I realize it now. They work to get rid of, the, rid the world of creatures and all the misunderstood things. I have come to realize that it would be easier to drink the entire ocean itself. You must leave Vinco in, in these shores. I only wish I could have provided you more to do so. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. This this guy cares about me. That letter's a good letter. You collect the eight roaches that you already gathered and kept them safely in a cage. Nice. Mostly clothes and a few minor trinkets from earlier years. One empty bucket. One empty bottle. Fishing rod. A, br oh, a broom for cleaning away dirt from the inside of your cabin. Sleep or save. Save. Always good to save. There we go. We did it. Wood. Plenty of wood to keep the fire going. A warm fire to keep the cool nights at bay and to light the interior of your home. Various materials for the preparation of food or otherwise. One empty bottle. I could make a Glover... F oh, I can get a Glover... F I'm so confused. Why would I want to craft things? Is a good question. Oh, I need stamina. I guess. I don't know. 
We'll figure it out, probably. We can make a bucket of sand. Oh no, we can make an empty bottle. Oh god. I hate crafting games. <laughs> the final resting place for your, of your grandfather. Rip. In amongst the rocks you find three empty bottles, five roaches. Well, we're collecting all the roaches. Your well, the source of your fresh water. An empty bucket. Hidden in the planter you find four roaches. This is kind of, well, roaches everywhere. Gross. This way leads to a small cave in the mountain beside your home. The cave is too dark to see inside without a candle lamp and a candle for your journey. So we need a candle lamp and a candle for sure. Is there anything I haven't clicked here? I think we're doing. So I gotta survive as well. This is a survival game as well. That's not good. Come here, fish. Here, fishy fishy. I caught him. I'm the best. Yeah, I'm losing stamina. We're doing it. What's this thing? A rod is through fishing net. It's of no use to you or anyone. But you do find and collect seven roaches that were caught in the netting. Uh oh, my phone's going off. Whale, whale, whale. Oh, okay. Uh, da da da. Okay, now I need to craft something. I have fish, so let's cook food with the fish, maybe? How do I cook food with the fish? Not here. Forge doesn't do that, apparently. We do it at the table. Alright, so we can make fish fat. How do I make fish that I can eat? You don't have any rock lobsters. Well, I have these. Oh. One fish fat and one fish guts. Oh, so now I can make a candle. Okay. All right. I guess stamina restores by going to sleep. You render the fish fat into tallow, and then you use the tallow to make a candle. Is that actually how they do it? That's what, This is an informative game. So this is an educational point-and-click crafting survival game with Cthulhu in it. Wow, they're doing a lot in this game. What's a chog? What does chog do? We're gaining the chog. I guess that's good. Yeah, chogging, boy. And we got murky oil. We're doing something here. Okay. Let's go to sleep, see if my stamina comes back. Sleeper slave. Sleeping recovers your stamina and progresses on the next day. You must have 50... Oh, I do have that. Sleep and quick save. Nice. You feel refreshed. You've been here for one day. It's... Oh, it keeps up with that too. This is pretty dope so far, actually. I'm probably going to end up getting stuck and maybe quitting it, but I like it so far. Holy crap, there's bottles everywhere. What's this? This would be a good place to moor a boat if you had one. Well, just rub in the fact I don't have a boat then. That's cool. Whatever. Do I have a limit to how many things I can carry? Great place to collect very loose sand if you had a shovel and an empty bucket. I do have an empty bucket, I just don't have a shovel. Wait a second, there was a rock there. That looked nice. Oh, I already clicked that, I guess. Is this town? We can go to town? So, Here's what I'm buying. Oh, she wants to buy things from me. I don't want to sell you anything. Get out of here. Am I supposed to be making money? What do I need money for? Oh, I need a candle lamp. Here's what I'm selling. Okay, so I have to make so much money. Here's what I'm buying. Uh, do I have anything that you want from me? I have Chog. Man, you don't pay much. Let's go back to the other lady. Alright, so... Uh, I got murky oil. I don't have that many though, apparently. Okay. I need like 50 gold, boy. I like the market though. I like that. I think that's really cool, actually. I won't be stuck here forever. How many coins do I have? There needs to be a coin counter though, in a very convenient place so I can actually tell. So I need to buy things. Oh, this is quite neat, actually. It's grinding. It's a grinding, crafting, point-click adventure. We're doing it. So I go... Is there like a time limit or something? You fish a bottle out of water, you gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. A new arrival came to Vinco from Rooktown. He said when he was wandering the shore for the first time and looked out at the ocean that he found a message in a bottle. 
Ah, the police. He told everyone at the tavern about this message he pulled out from the up from the distant past. He was so amazed and thrilled by it. Nobody had the heart to tell him that throwing message messages and bottles out into the ocean is one of Vinko's favorite pastimes. When you finish your drink, the one the man pulled from the ocean had been written only about a week ago by one of my friends. Oh well. Let the new arrival enjoy the little glimmer of happiness while it lasts. Okay, well dang. I'm catching a lot of red fins this time, and I think they're worth money, so that's good. Alright, let's go back up. What happens if my stamina hits zero? Can I just not do anything, or do I die, or like, what's up? I have red fish, though. What's that mean? I don't know. Um, well, we can make this, right? Glubber fish. Oh. I don't even have five glubber fish. While dissecting one of the fish, you discover a gilded box. What's a gilded box do? Sounds cool. Click, click. While dissecting one of the fish, you discover an obsidian tube. Hey, awesome. I'm getting like all this cool stuff that I don't know what it does. That's pretty sick. Let's sleep and s quick save. You feel refreshed. You've been here for two days. Yeah, we're having a great time. I like this place. Not too much Cthulhu going on yet. Not yet. But soon. Alright. Bucket of sand I can make an empty bottle with. Iron ingot. Uh, what I can make it. I'm kind of confused about the items I just got. I don't know what they mean. Maybe them. I can check my items. Fish bones. I have those. Fish fat. Have that as well. Fish guts. I think some things I can't craft yet, but one day. I have wood too. I don't know where I got wood though, so I would rather not get rid. Oh, I got it from the bucket. We'll keep the wood. No, I don't want to exit the game. I want to exit. There we go. Oh, that's where you keep up with your coins. 29. We have 29 coins. How do I make iron fish bones? I have fish bone. Fuse. Probably crafting things that I just don't know how to make yet. Alright. We can make chog too. Okay, let's go to town, sell that stuff, and hopefully we can afford one of that, because we're going to need a shovel, a boat, we're going to need a lot of stuff. I guess if it's in small letters, you don't have the, no, it's just in small letters. Give me that money. You want chog, right? I got chog. Okay, I should have a good bit of money now. I should be able to buy something, hopefully. 74. What do I want to get first? A fishing net might be nice, but no. Uh, shovel. I do need a shovel. I need a candle lamp. We're going to get the candle lamp first. And then, so I can explore the top area. We need a candle as well, though. So, I need to make a candle. And then, go... What did I need to make Campbell fish fat? You should give me fish fat. Give me the fish fat. Let's take the roaches for now. We'll be back. I should be able to make fish fat to go north. Yeah, I need to get more things unlocked so I can make sure that I'm using all my resources. Okay. Let's go to the north part now. We should be able to go up there. Journey inside the cave behind your home. This will use one candle. Yes. Yay! Red cap mushrooms. Sick. Is this all we're doing is crap? This is neat. I thought this was going to be like point and click find things, but this is more like build your empire in a fishing village. It's pretty neat. I like it. I can definitely dig it. Oh, this is where you find wood at. This pond creates a perfect spot to lure in roaches if you have the right bait, but first you'll need a shovel. Okay. 
Okay, I need a shovel. Roaches. I need to get a yeah, shovel needs to be the next thing I get for sure. Let's see. I've been here for three days. I wonder if there's like a certain amount of days you can be here before you like die or go mad or something. I do have red caps now, so I could sell this. And then let's make some make whatever else we can make right now. While dissecting the fish, you discovered a gilded cylinder. I need empty bottles. Gosh dang. I make those with sand, right? So I really need I need a shovel real bad. Is there any other areas I can explore besides these four? It doesn't seem like it. How much money do I have? 24? I might be able to afford it after I sell my shroom my shroom wine. Be close. Okay. Well, I'm running out of things to sell. And I don't have the money, I don't believe. I, am I one coin off? No, I have exactly... Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Now I can get sand and I can get roaches, which is... Well, I need the bait, too. Dig a hole near the pond and fill it with fish gold. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't have five fish guts, are you sure? How many empty buckets do I have? Three. Okay. So now I can make empty bottles, because I don't think I'll find any more. Yeah, this is a pretty neat, like, build your fish fishing empire kind of thing. Not exactly, definitely not what I was expecting. I thought this was going to be like a... I guess it does have mystery, but right now I'm not seeing any of it. I'm just making stuff. I need roaches pretty badly. Come here, buddy. I need something to turn the uh, red fin into too, because I have a bunch of them, I just don't have anything to turn them into. Give me roaches! Yay! Fish the bottle of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. If you found this message, you know that I find this whole endeavor quite mad. To write a letter, put it in a bottle, seal it, and then throw it out to sea? What is the purpose? What is the point? Would it not be better that I merely leave the letter somewhere on the land for someone to find? Is there the possibility that the tide could take the message too far away lands? Surely not. But yet my husband insists on doing this together. Writing a letter, putting it in a bottle, make a wish, and someone will find the letter and maybe your wish will come true. What a joke. But if someone perhaps does find this letter, I do terribly hope good fortune upon you and all that... <laughs> Unlikely as it may, might be, I've even added eight coins. What a homie. I took from my husband's purse. Oh my gosh, he's a thief. <laughs> to give, he's, she's like, how dare he make me write this stupid letter and toss it out to sea. I'll show him. I'll take these coins and give it to a stranger. Give it to you, dear stranger. Or these coins will be lost forever to the bottom of the ocean. All the same, that's what he gets for. That's literally what she did. <laughs> for such a foolish thing to do on a nice day as this. That's funny. That's, I, <laughs> what a vindictive petty lady, my goodness. Don't get on her bad side, boys. Gilded handle. You fiddle with all three gilded pieces and eventually you realize that they all fit together. You're not entirely sure what it does, but it seems to be some sort of device. What it could be for, you haven't a clue. You now have a gilded device. Sick. Didn't I have something that needed to be gilded over here? Your gilded device suddenly springs to life with a strange echoing sound and a flash of light. Oh, I just made a hole in the ground. Your gilded device keeps beeps as you stand over the spot. Dig here, you'll need five stamina. You dig until the shovel clinks against something that sounds like glass. You use your hand to pry out a bottle with a letter in it. 
Perhaps you've learned by now, perhaps not. There are things, eldritch and otherworldly in nature, that are often viewed as pests or dire omens of consequence. Even the simplest of creatures we hardly understand. But there are those, even around Vincove, that know. Perhaps they know more than they reveal. Just as I am forced to do, perhaps even they themselves are that of which I speak. But sometimes, a threat can be a tool. But be careful of the instruments you use and how you use them. Interesting. The plot thickens, boy. Ah, it's going off again. Your gilded device suddenly springs to life with a strange echoing sound and a flash of light. Your gilded device beeps over as you stand over the spot. Dig here, you'll need five stamina. Yeah. You dig until the ground gives way and reveals some kind of small cave beneath. You can't make any details up from up here. I'm gonna wait to go in there. I do want to get my roaches though. Just one? What? Oh, there we go. Now we're doing it. Come on, spawn. I got fishy guts for you. You like those. They're not even spawning near the fish guts. You guys suck. Your sense of direction is terrible. Find the fishy guts. I think we're making good progress though. I, li I like that this game so far, before I jinx it and then get really upset at myself for jinxing it, so far has been pretty like, expl like gives you a really good idea of what you need to do. So, like, I was about to say so far again. Just to preface that I usually say something like that and then I get screwed because I said it. Just putting that out there. Alright, let's go heal. Or go to sleep. Not heal. And then we'll go down in the cave next morning. We should get a candle too, if we can. There we go. Now we're cracking. Let's go into the cave. What's over here? Requires ladder down. Requires one hammer, one rope. Oh no, I need a hammer, a rope, and wood. I have a wood. I need a rope. And other things. Kinda wanna go up here and go for some shroom caps. Yeah. There's only one? Oh, you suck, place. Hidden behind the rock, you find a bottle with the letter inside. The shores west of Vincove are normally protected from any potential monsters. Between the wall of Vincove, the mountain, and the OC itself, the wet shores have always been relatively safe. But I've seen something skulking about when the sun sets and just before I light my first candle of the night. I couldn't tell you what it is, but it's nimble. It can move up upon walls since I've seen, it sh I've seen its shadow creep around the mountains. I want to ask others if they've seen anything strange, but I really shouldn't be over th here when, I'm, when I should be working. If I start talking about things crawling around the mountains, they may wonder where it, when I've been around the mountains. Confusing. But I got it. You saw a monster. Scary. There's only one rain cap. That place sucked this time. That was awful. Still six gold, but it could have been better. How much gold do I have? None. Barely any. Your gilded device suddenly springs to life with a strange echoing sound and a flash of light. So it seems like the gilded device works random-ish, because I went here yesterday, didn't I, after I already had it and it didn't pop anything. Your gilded device beeps as you stand over the spot. Dig here, you'll need five stamina. You dig until the shovel clinks against something that sounds like glass. You use your hands to pry out a bottle with the letter in it. In my earlier years, I owned a small craft which was truly only suitable for fishing a little ways out into the ocean. That sounds like a terrible idea in an Elder Tor game, just putting that out there. Such a craft was for the too small. Such a craft was far too small to sp safely venture out any further. It was through the use of this vessel that I learned terrible truths. The vessel was instrumental in acquiring the materials I needed to further my goals and pursuits. I wish it were still in proper condition to leave it to you, but I was forced to break it apart for scrap years ago when I, when it drifted further into de disuse and the driftwood along the shore became scarce. It was shortly after that time that my health began to wane, and fishing would have been an impossibility in my condition. I guess that was from my grandpa. Alright, we're gonna get enough money to get the hammer and some other things I need. Maybe the boat too. I just got a diseased fish. What's wrong with you fish? Why are you diseased? That's not good. Stop juking me, freaking glubber fish. Alright, so you, nothing bad happens if you run out of stamina. You just can't do anything, so that's cool, I guess.
Okay, I don't have five Glover fish apparently. By dissecting one of the fish, you would discover an obsidian pearl. While dissecting one of the fish, you discover an obsidian shell, so I should get an obsidian thing. You put the obsidian pearl in the obsidian cube inside the shell. You shake it around a little, around a little, and realize that the combined items make a curious sound when shaken. You also come to the conclusion that no matter how much you shake the shell, you can't get the cube and pearl back out. You now have an obsidian rattle. That sounds like a bad thing to have, actually. I feel like I'm a rattle in something, something I should not. Scary. Just saying. Is there anything over here I can make now? Alright, let's sell what we got. Hopefully we can afford something good. Here's what I'm buying. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm buying. Shroom wine, I have one of those. I have these, actually. I have a ton of these. Take all of them. There's some money. I guess that's what they're for. I wasn't paying attention. Sick. Alright, how much money do I have? I should have a good bit. Yeah, I have some money. So we need a hammer. And something else. What else do I need? Mining pick, maybe? Rope. I need rope. You got rope? No. Do I already have rope? Do I have rope? I do not have rope. Where do I get rope? Who make the rope? Is there anything here I can click on to acquire items or no? Just out. I don't think so. Unfortunate. Okay. We need rope. Iron ingot. Gilded liquid. Bound to run into rope eventually, but. Pack of foodstuffs for your meals. Is there anything in here that could be a rope? Sure, why wouldn't I? I mean, why not? I don't know what the point of doing that is, but we did it! Oh, I'm getting more letters. Apparently there's that many letters in the game. Do I have a rope somewhere? Oh, ropey boy. Sure. Dang, only one red cap spawns in here, which is kind of lame. Don't know when we'll get rope. I have a hammer. I don't have rope. Yeah, I know. Just hoping you give me, like, mercy. I don't know how to make rope. God dang it. Maybe eventually I'll dig out some rope or something. I'm not sure how do you make the rope. Do I have any ingots to make this with? No. Maybe one of, some of these fish will eat ropes or something. And then I can take it out of them or something like that. It would be sick. I know I need a rope to progress though. Ah, oh, it's another message in a bottle. You fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. The glow, the terrible glow. I can hear it in my mind. To look upon them is to, to know the anger of the light. But I've sealed those terrible blue things away. Dirt and gravel and mud. I've covered the hole in the cave behind the fisher's cabin. Eyed me he did. Every time I went with a bucket of dirt. But I've contained it. Bits of wood and many, many buckets of dirt. I don't think the fisher knows. Too busy out on that boat in the ocean. Doing who knows what. Not fishing. I'll tell you as much. But where does the fisher go? Be damned if I ask. Be damned if I try to find out. No, no, no. It is done. The glowing things are dimmed, and their excruciating light has gone from my mind. But did I put enough dirt in the cave? Perhaps another bucket? You'll thank me for having sealed it away. Say a silent prayer and thanks. For this thing I have done, for all you... For all the people of Alcove, or Vincove, or some kind of cove. So I guess that tells me there's something out there. Ah, another letter. Sick. Oh no, it's just an empty bottle. Like, dang, we're collecting letters today.
Alright, where do you say he hid it behind my house for some reason? Is there a way to go behind my house? Let's see. Is there a way behind my house? No. There's the cave. This should be the spot you read about in the letter. The ground seems unnaturally strong here. You'll need a mining pick and a shovel and tin stamina. I'll be back. I need a mining pick. Alright, let's make our thing so we can sell it tomorrow and hopefully make progress. I do like that he also gave you, like, options to pick if you want to mine, like, faster and, like, collect in bulk, I guess. Alright, and then we do the murky. And then we should be able to sell this chog as well. Shroom. Okay. Now let's go to the. Oh, I need a save. Sleep and quick save. I want to know where this quick save saves at before I make a mistake. I've been here for six days. Uh, save. I guess quick save just automatically saves it to file one. I don't know why I want. I don't know. Whatever. Yay! Um. Give me money. I want to keep some candles so I can go straight to the place. Alright, do I have enough money for the mining pick yet? Hopefully. Here's what I'm selling. Yay, we did it. We're making pretty good progress, I think. If I don't, if I say so myself. Alright, yep. Something good. You're a ladder down. I don't have a rope! I thought this would might give me a rope. God dang it. Ah, oh, lame. Where do I find rope at? You scammers. How dare you? Fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also leather that was inside. I suppose I have no room to complain. I chose to be a reclaimer, first in my family to take the profession, such as it is. It has its ups and downs, takes a few years to learn the ins and outs, and even longer to master. Some say you can't master it. There's always something new in there to throw off what you know. It's been tough trying to hunt every anything in the area me and my group are used to. There's something different something different out there. I've only caught a glimpse of it myself. Josh said he got a clear look at it. Black as oil, as if it drank in the light. A long tail, two strong legs. That's the only Godzilla. That's the only clear description she gave us. I'm not really sure what to expect or how to hunt the thing. So far, it's kept its distance, but it's always lurking around now, driving off lots of the other creatures we normally hunt for materials. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Hopefully. I need rope. Give me rope. Please. Final resting place of your grandfather. I'm sure eventually we'll dig that up. Hidden in the planter you find three roaches. Nice. Alright, can I do the thing? Yeah. Nice. I like this area because you can multitask it, which is kind of cool. Oh, th those fish guts stay forever. Nice. Yeah, I might as well do that over and over again. Why wouldn't I? Now I can get unlimited. Okay, I didn't know that's how that worked. That's really cool. You get like a stronger and stronger breeding ground as you do it. Interesting. Let's make our bottles, and then we'll go down and fish the rest of our night away. If I can get more, if I can get some iron ingots, I can make some more buckets to get more sand at the same time as well. I really like the, this is a good crafting game, because it's, it's interesting, and I like how the game works, and it's 
not super complicated. Like, really simple system. Clubberfish. I'm gonna use my fish fat on the, um... I have fish bones. What do fish bones turn into? I wonder. I don't remember. Okay. I feel like... I should be able to get the rope already. I'm not sure where the rope's hiding from me at. I really feel like this dude should sell rope. I don't know why he doesn't sell rope. How much money do I have? 12? Yeah, I got a little ways to go. I can sell my fish bones. So these guys don't buy, they only sell, uh, they, oh, sick, I didn't know that. You sell rope, lady? Yes, there we go, I didn't know you could do that, but now I do, interesting. Luckily it didn't put me too far behind not knowing that, but, because I didn't, it didn't take me too long to find out actually, but, yeah, I just figured since it was grayed out, that was all they could do, I, that means I could sell more stuff to that one dude, right? Sorry. Oh, he only buys ingots, and he sells ingots, which is really weird. Whatever. Why would I sell them to you so you can buy them from me for cheaper? Words. Yes. It's a little work. You secure the makeshift ladder. You know, now have a way down into the depths of the cave. Nice. We're doing it. Oh, it's another fishing place. And shroom. Oh, boy. Those are the things he hid away? The shrooms? Are they, were they making him hallucinate or something? Deep dwellers. Nice, new fishing area. Thick. I wonder what that other area has in it. This music's like super ominous. Wah woo to you too, game. Did more disease fish. Alright, what can I craft from the deep fish? Oh, the iron bones. Nice. Which means I can make iron ingots. It also gave me something else, but I didn't read it for some reason. Because it click too fast. What's that doing? Why is it in my house? There's a cobalt shroom in my room. You reach down to collect one of the cobalt shrooms growing in your cabin, but as you do, the fungus shrinks and contorts down into the floorboards beyond your reach. When you step away, it returns. That's weird, but whatever. You live your best life, cobalt shrooms. What can I make with the cobalt shrooms? I can make something, right? Gleam. I want to make buckets too. Bucket. Oh, I can make buckets because I have the iron fish bones from the deep dweller. I don't know how to get. Oh yeah, I do. You get it from the shore. I got you. Can I make another one of these? Nice. Now we have plenty of buckets. Do I have an inventory limit? I don't think I do, but I don't. So I can start like a mass chain of stuff. Let's go down here first. Let's pick up this wood, too. And I think I can summon another one of these as well. I don't. I can't. Never mind. I lied. Alright, let's go down here. With a little work, you secure the makeshift ladder. You now have a way down into the depths of the cave. Sick. What's down here? A bucket. A bucket looks as if it would fall apart if you tried putting any actual weight on it. Oh, so it's useless. Craze falling apart and almost all the wood is rotten. The top almost breaks apart when you peek inside. Within, there are traces of rock fragments, but nothing bigger than the tip of your finger. There are a couple pieces that reflect differently in the light, as if they were me metallic. Okay, so that's nothing important, I guess. What if I fight that thing over there? What are you? There's something down there. Ah, oh, that's not good. A rotten rope hangs here. It would fall apart if you tried to use it. Who knows how long it's been down here. Rope and bucket lead you to believe that someone was lowering something down to the creature below. The metallic flecks in the crate make you think that it might have been iron ingots. So I can lower something? Hmm, interesting. 
there a place I can interact with to drop the stuff down there to it? We'll be back. Maybe. We gotta do some fishing. And then we shall be back. You fish the bottle of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. Ten hours. Takes ten hours to get to from Venco to Rooktown, or there to here. That's why they call us tenors. You gotta keep clo keep a close eye on your surrounders surroundings when making the trip. Can't just keep your eyes on the road, to be honest. I haven't been a tenor long. I thought it'd be easier, but it's also so stressful. Always so stressful taking the road. You're too slow, dark starts to creep in, and the creatures that come out are far more dangerous at night than are during the day. If you're too quick with your step and unprepared, you might be too tired to run from the some of the creatures that come out during the day. The tunnel between Rooktown and Vincove is hardly reliable, even if that's not a current, there's not a current cave-in. You run the risk of being trapped down there, even at the best of times. Okay, I'm good on that. I don't want to be trapped anywhere. I need some bottles too, so I'll probably get like two more fish and then... Oh, one more fish, and then we'll go back up there and get some bottles. Fill up my buckets. Yay! I have so many buckets. Hmm. Now we're... Oh, I'm not gonna have that. Oh, I don't need wood, actually. There we go. Ironing it. What I'm confused by is I have these iron ingots, right? But... Let me go to sleep and see what, like, Gleam and stuff sells for. How many letters am I missing still? Not a ton. So we know we need to go out to sea. Probably need a fishing net. Need to lower something down to that sucker that's down there. You take Gleam? No. How do you make Seal, I wonder? You take Gleam. She doesn't take Gleam either. He does not either. I don't know what Gleam does. What's the axe for? Is that so I can kill the thing down there, maybe? I don't know. What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna get some bottles. And some roaches, and now I'm just gonna mass farm. I don't think I need the deep rock things too much yet. Should I go downstairs? Probably. Yeah. The bucket looks as if it would fall apart, but you could keep your own bucket here if you have an empty one. I do. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I lied. Sorry. I need probably another rope as well. Alright, so I should have a ton of empty bottles now. Um, let's do some fishing, and then we'll... Um, get the rope. Fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. Come down to visit my cousin here in Vincove. He told me about this thing they do. Writing letters in bottles and tossing them out to sea. I guess I'm supposed to talk about something interesting or useful. All I can really say is that I'm a miner in Rooktown. There's not much harder work to be found than mining. I guess those reclaimers don't have it easy, but we miners find our... What's a reclaimer? Find our fair share of creatures down in the mines. Saw a worm as large as my arm, eating through a vein of iron. I tried to kill it with my pick, but it was so quick I couldn't land a blow. It screeched something- oh my god. That's terrifying. Terrible as it tore into the nearby rocks and got away. Now I'm a, always a bit jumpy when I'm mining a lot. I would be so traumatized by that. That's not even cool. A giant freaking worm that screeches at you, boy. I would be done. I'd be like, alright, y'all, I got- I, I quit? <laughs> Put that out there. I'll see y'all on the flip side, maybe. I don't have any clubber fish. Okay, I'm gonna use the fish fat to make, um... Go over here, fish fat this up. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna sell my stuff and I'm gonna buy another piece of rope. And then I'm gonna feed that fat thing some ingots, I guess. Oh, she doesn't, he doesn't sell the rope. What do you buy again? Oh, iron ingots, gotcha. Alright, I need to buy rope from you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I do have this. How much money do I have? 42? I need a lot more money. Okay. Guess I'm out of things to sell. What am I at now? 68. We're doing it. Slowly but surely. Probably. Well, I can go down here. Put my bucket down here. Yeah. You break down the old bucket for three wood and leave it a sturdy empty bucket in its place. The rotten rope hangs here. It would fall apart if you... Okay, so... If you had a rope, you could secure the bucket and lower it down. Secure a rope to the bucket? Yeah. Secure a rope to the bucket. Now you'll be able to lower something down. Yes. You lower the iron ingot down to the area with the creature roaming belt. What are you gonna do? It's gonna poop something out, ain't you? Something down there. Maybe I should leave it? Okay, I'll leave it for now. I'll be back. Do I have to wait a night or something for it to eat the iron ingot and poop me something good out? Is that what we're doing here? Alright. Did you poop me something good, buddy? Diamond or something? Ooh, what's that? Five gold resin. What do I need that for? I know it makes something, I just don't remember what it does. We are an efficient mining fishing overlord now. Like, we are kicking, cooking with Crisco right now. Alright, let's see what the iron resin, gold resin does. Gilded liquid, I wonder what that, I can make it. Does it sell for a lot or something? Let's see what gilded resin, resin sells for. Do you buy it? No, you buy it. I'm an idiot. I know what you buy. I need a fishing net at some point, and probably an axe at some point too, but... Which one of y'all buys gilded resin, or is it something that I need to make something? Maybe it makes seal? I don't know. Who knows? Not I. Let's look. One sea shroom. No, it doesn't make that then. What's this? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I got golden resin for. I'll probably need it when I go out to sea. You fish the bottle of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. I truly don't understand how a town such as Vencove can remain as it is. It's a squalid place. Dirty, run down, poor. In fact, I do believe that the underground levels of Rooktown, with all the miners and roaches, are more prosperous than those who live here in this town of Poppers. Once my business here in Vincove is concluded, I'll be happy to be gone from this feeded place. My stay here in Vincove cannot end soon enough. I doubt anyone will read this anytime soon, let alone discover who I am. Just know that this is a dreadful place, and if you wish for a proper town to live in, come to Rooktown. We always need some miners and fellers. No. You guys got screeching worms, bro. I ain't dealing with that. Hell no. Hell to the nah. To the nah nah nah. I ain't going over there. Okay, I just need to make the money. For, um... The boat. I'm gonna get the boat next. Cause I'm running out of things to do, I believe. With the stuff that I have. Let's see what I can make now. Still want to take the fish fat to the, um, roaches, still. What's worth the most money? Oh, the redfish, I guess, are the most money. Besides the red cat thing, but I only get one of those, like, a day, maybe, if I get lucky.
Yeah, I guess fishing, like, in that one spot's, like, really the best way to make money, which kind of makes the other stuff I'm doing right now kind of pointless, but, you know. I'm just gonna keep doing this anyways, just in case I need it later. Oh, they're multiplying. What is that? There's something down there. Well, that doesn't really tell me much. Well, we'll keep doing that, just for the sake of doing it. Plus, I get a message in the bottle every day. I guess that's why this is the most important area, I think. You fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. It's tough for a fisher to earn enough coin to feed their family and tend to their home. The ocean is always plentiful, and there are some things I've seen out there that make me not want to go back. But my fishing can tell me the ocean is playing tricks on me, as it always does to those who are out there too long. Seems as though there are fewer boats, fewer fishers, and as the years go by, boats are hard to come by, and even harder to build unless you have the dark, those dark redwood logs to craft one from. The wood that drifts in the fr in from the ocean is good for building a boat. Not easy for folks from Vinco Cove to get their hands on redwood, redwood logs too cheaply. I'm sure a time will come when all the Vinco fishers are bound to, shore, to the shore. I just hope I'm not around to see it. Did you tell me how to make a boat? Can I make a boat now? Because I can get the Red Cove logs. I know where to buy those at. And that maybe I use the gold resin to like work on that, maybe. All right, let's see if I can make a boat. No, I can't make a boat. Cabin crafting, that's what we call that. What about you, can you make a boat? Dang, I need to know how to make a boat, son. What's this light? Has that always been there? I've been here for 12 days and nothing's changed. Well, I found new areas, but nothing really too much has changed. I can just buy a boat eventually. I save up enough. Actually getting pretty close to it already. But then I'll have to buy a fishing net. Uh, oh no, she doesn't sell redwood logs. Oh yeah, she does, but she can... Uh, oh, I can sell roaches for a good amount of coin, actually. Oh no, she's selling them. God dang it. <laughs> she's selling things that I want to sell. What do you mean I don't have fish guts? I could have swore I had fish guts. Let's go back over and... Maybe I didn't craft my things yet. That's probably what happened. I about to say, if I can sell roaches for two a pop, I'm gonna be rich, boy. This one. There we go. Now I have the fish fat to make the roach thing. And then, I don't know what Gleam does, to be honest. Oh, I should go back to that other place, see if I got anything new. Oh, I know how I, I'm an idiot. They are multiplying though, that's concerning, actually. But we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Am I dooming everyone? Maybe. Is it worth it? I don't know. Just check and make sure there's nothing new. There's no reason not to pick stuff up though. Because we have like unlimited inventory. Maybe you lose stamina, but that's about it. I'm about to go back up because I don't think I got my bottle for the day. I can use these guys to make iron ingots and maybe make money faster actually. Let's go back up and see what our bottle for the day is. Every day there seems to be a new bottle. There it is. Fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. I hope that the old fisher doesn't find this bottle. I'm sure he's too busy with the mysterious business of his. Always going around in all hours, carrying his lamp around and wandering toward the mountain. I remember years back when he was more personable, but now if he just keeps to himself, I guess age is taking him. It just seems to be taking him harder than most. Maybe because he's a fisher. Not that he's fished in years, mind you. 
Not that I've seen, anyway. Oh well, the world has a way of getting around to folk like him in time. Sad, really. Ah, oh, whatever. I, I think I'll have enough money now, probably. Once I make my ingots and everything. I discovered something again, but I didn't look what it was. God dang it. Let me see what I'm discovering. I'm discovering something inside those things. Iron fish bones. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm discovering inside of them. I don't know. Dang it, I need to read that. Every time I skip over it. Okay, I should have enough money for sure now. Let me use my other things as well, just to be sure. Let's go. The to town to make our money. Here's what you're selling, but here's what I'm selling. We're at, yeah, we got enough for a boat. That's sick. Let's go. But I don't have enough for my, um, my axe yet or the fishing net probably wait to use the boat till I got my fishing net to be honest nice your boat we did it uh, let's just go and see what's over there to be honest with you I'll fill up my sand bucket too oh, I don't have an empty but oh I already filled it up whoops Okay. There's so many of those little baby things down there. Alright, let's go to the left. Something good. Oh, it's a... You pulled up a wood crate. Crack open the wood crate to find three copper ingots. Nice. Fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. I miss my mother. She was a reclaimer. She only ever hunted during the day. She said she knew where to hunt safely in Redwood. She told me that she never went too far when, where the Redwood became too dark to see. She warned me about the dark, especially in the Redwood. Only the crazy or the desperate reclaimers hunted creatures at night beyond the safety of the town walls, but Grandma fell ill, and the physician in town isn't cheap. I tried being a roacher to help with the expenses, but those things aren't easy to find around Vinco. No, they're, there they are. You just put fish fat out. Mother won't let me leave the town. Uncle says there's a chance mom might still come back, but he's been saying that for weeks. Oh, that sucks. Rip. Those wood crates are pretty nice, actually. I need a fishing net to fish here. Who would have thunk? I need to get an iron ingot, too. So let's go down... Do I have a ton of candles? Like, I've never ran out of candles yet, which is kind of nice. Let's jinx it so I can run out of candles. Yay! So I'm wondering if the letter color changes depending on what area you got the message from. I'm about to go check that. If I have one message in a different color, that means yes. Yes, it does. So I'm missing two at the shore. I'm missing... I'm guessing these are from the cabin somehow. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. While dissecting one of the fish, you discover an extra... Oh, that's all it is. Okay, cool. Actually, before I sleep, I need to put a resin down in the thing, so... Hopefully it doesn't take stamina to lower it. I don't think it does. Yay. We're making an army. It's awesome. I'm wondering which red letters I'm missing, though. 
I'm sure they're hidden somewhere in our area, but 